take you to try on a bathing suit. Come on, give us some eye candy. There is no way anybody's gonna see me like this. Oh, Richard, you're no fun. Julia, I didn't forget you. I know this trip is sort of a honeymoon for you and Richard, and uh, I know you'll be spending a lot of time, you know, in bed. Ooh. So I got you something I hope you'll use. The itty bitty book light? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's for reading. You know, books. <laughs> books. Or uh, for those uh, middle of the night manicures. Oh, how thoughtful. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Julia, our car's here. Let's go. Richard, we have to go. Yeah, hurry up. I wouldn't be sharing a ride with you if I thought I would miss my plane. He won't come out of the bathroom. He's trying on the beach outfit I got him for Hawaii. Richard, I was going through your luggage. Are these glow-in-the-dark condoms? <laughs> oh. It is so you. Yeah, death takes a holiday. <laughs> You know, Julia, when most people go to Hawaii, they actually pack lately. I did. <laughs> well, where's Charlie? I wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Come on, Charlie, I told you, you don't qualify as carry-on. Oh, God, I hate to fly. I'm not even on a plane yet, and already I'm nervous. <sighs> You'll be fine on the plane. Don't worry about it. Uh -huh. Truth is, you're much more likely to plummet to your death in this overloaded elevator. <laughs> oh, that. Merry Christmas, Julia. For the shower cap. I can't believe you. You actually seem happy that they're going on their honeymoon. Well, I am. 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 Stop me before I lie again. <laughs> have a great Christmas, sweetie. Have a good. Hey, have a good time in Boston and say hi to Seth. Okay? I will. I'll call you. Ma, I'm going. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> so this is it. A big honeymoon, huh? Yeah. Oh, and uh, thanks for the bathing suit. I suppose at some point I'll be forced to get wet. <laughs> <laughs> Come home safe. Merry Christmas. Here, yeah, Merry Christmas. Uh, sorry there's no card or ribbon or wrapping paper. Oh, and it's not really frozen meat. <laughs> Open up the window so I can wear it right now. Come on, Caroline, come to Connecticut with me. I hate the idea of you being here alone on Christmas Eve. Oh, I'll be fine. My parents will be here in a couple days. They just got stuck in the snow. Don't they cross country ski? <laughs> yeah, but I think Wisconsin to New York might be a little strenuous. Really? Mostly downhill. <laughs> come on, come with me. Spend Christmas Eve with my family. I don't know, Del. I mean. The weather's really terrible, and we might get stuck there overnight. And the last time that happened, Salty got very mad and expressed her anger all over my new comforter. I'll stay here with Salty. Oh, but, but this is the first Christmas with your dad in 20 years. Well, he'll come here. This place is better anyway. You have a window. <laughs> and plumbing. Well, okay. Great. I'll go. But, you know, I better bring something for your mother. Oh, right. Yeah, that might make things a little more comfortable, you know, uh, considering. <laughs> considering what? <laughs> ah, well, you know, I guess we're not engaged anymore. We can laugh at this now, right? <laughs> what are we laughing about? <laughs> well, you know, the first time I brought you home to meet my folks, um, <laughs> after we left, right, all my mother could say was, I can't believe she didn't bring a hostess gift, not even a box of mints. <laughs> You're not laughing. How come you didn't tell me about this before? Well, I didn't want you to think she was petty. But she is petty. <laughs> Look, so my mother doesn't like you. Big deal. Your mother doesn't like me? All mothers like me. Everyone I've ever dated, the mothers liked me. All right, this calls for a trip to the emergency gift closet. No, I don't freak out about it. Everyone else in my family loves you. Oh, no, 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 you don't understand. I'm from Wisconsin. I have to be liked. It's a lot of pressure. That's why everyone leaves. <laughs> I thought it was the ten months of winter. Does she have the itty-bitty book light? That's a good one. A novelization of shafts? Is that out already? <laughs> Look at this 
decanter. It's beautiful. That is perfect. My mother loves anything that holds liquor. That's why she married my dad. Oh, God, I'm so nervous. I don't think I can get on that plane. It's such a long flight. Well, look on the bright side. Maybe the plane will explode the minute you take off. Oh, God. Oh, all right, all right. Here, take one of these. It'll relax you. Thank you, Annie. I don't want to ruin this. Two weeks in paradise with the man I love. Hey, honey, I found some fun reading for the beach. Nietzsche. You are one lucky gal. Well, I'll see you next year, Richie. Oh, when you go in the water, be sure to step on those spiny little sea urchins. It's like getting foot massage. Yeah. Not everybody goes into the water to get felt up. Everybody, we're here. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Look, you made it, Caroline. Hey, Dad. Eleanor, Caroline's here. Oh, and she brought you a gift. Hey, Dad. Here, let me put that under the tree. We'll open it after dinner. Oh, hmm? uh, no, no. Actually, I'd like to give that to Mrs. Cassidy myself oh. right away. Hi, Dad. Oh, uh, hey, sis. Oh, hi, Caroline. Oh, hi, Vanessa. So, how have you been? Well, I'm suffering from a chronic condition brought on by stress that's shrinking the space between my vertebrae. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll probably be in a full body cast by the time my divorce is finalized. Oh, I'm so and from that point on, I'll spend my days flat on my back, living on the kitchen table. No. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, it's not your fault. Here, let me put that under the tree. We'll open it after dinner. Oh, no, this is definitely a before dinner gift. <laughs> Hey, Mom, Merry Christmas. Oh, it's mm. so wonderful to see you, Dal. Merry Christmas. Season's greetings, Caroline. Yes. Uh, Mrs. Cassidy, I, I want to thank you for letting me join you all at such short notice. Don't be silly. We'll just be a little tight at the table. Here, here. <laughs> we, you know... Um, it's funny that um, on the ride up here in the car, I was thinking that I never brought you a gift the first time I came here. Oh, really? I don't even remember it. Oh. It was September. <laughs> Rainy afternoon. We had the salmon puffs. Too much dill. Oh, uh, right. Well, <laughs> this is for you. For me? Oh, from me. To you. <laughs> from me. Oh, oh, absolutely unexpected. <laughs> I bet you made it yourself. Oh, no, no, it's store-bought. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> I can't believe this. We've been sitting at the gate for half an hour. Seems a lot longer. <laughs> We're flying to Honolulu to uh, have her adenoids removed. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. We apologize for the delay, but due to the inclement weather, this flight will not be departing as scheduled. Oh. Please deplane by the forward doors. Yeah, come on, honey. We have to deplane. Here we go, Julia. Come on, come on, Julia. Here we go. Here we go, Julia. Julia! Charlie? Hello? <laughs> Dad? Charlie? Hey, Dad. Woo! Oh. Hi, this is a nice place. You really made it your own. Uh, yeah, it, it's my friend's place. I'm just watching it for her. Yeah, good idea. Anybody could just walk right in. Yeah. Uh, well, uh... Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas Eve Day. Merry Christmas Eve Day, late afternoon. You got your mother's smarts. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's so weird now that yeah. you're finally here. I've been dreaming about this for so long, oh, Dad. Yeah, yeah, me, me too, yeah. I want everything that we do to be special. Yeah, well, where do you, where do you want to start? Uh, well, why don't we start by putting out cookies for Santa? Yeah, well, that's been done. Maybe we can hang some stockings. Yeah, it's very mainstream. Um, I know we could stuff grapes down our pants and sing beer drinking songs. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> but you know, after the fifth or sixth time, you kind of develop a taste for barium. 
I can't believe how beautifully you wrapped this, Caroline. Yeah, she did it herself. <laughs> Especially for you. From me. <laughs> for you. <laughs> open it. Oh, I would love to. But we Cassidy's have a tradition. We wait to open our gifts until after dinner. Oh, traditions are wonderful. Mm. But I'm not a Cassidy, so open it. <laughs> I can't believe you let this sweet little thing get away from our family. Oh, Eleanor, stop. <laughs> There's a lot of love in this room. <laughs> My face is numb. Mine too. Great feeling, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, Mom. Just open it. All right, all right. We'll break with tradition just for Caroline. I will open her gift before dinner. Oh, thank you, Jenny. Oh, my God. That's a cancer. It's beautiful, isn't it? Do you ever use the one I gave you? As a matter of fact, I used it today. <laughs> Wonderful. No, don't open that. What? You can't mess with tradition. That's right. Look what happened when Pat Boone tried heavy metal. Dear, we do like to open our presents on Christmas Eve. Um, well, actually, I I'd like some more dessert. Um, some more pie. Is there more pie? Here. I'll cut you a slice, and you can take it in the other room. Oh, no. Um, I, I have to eat it here because I have uh, slopey knees, and pie just slides right off of them. <laughs> um, actually, I have to go to the bathroom. Del, will you come with me? Oh, uh, you don't need company in the bathroom anymore, honey. Daddy installed medic alert boxes. <laughs> Caroline, is anything wrong? All right, I might as well just tell you the truth. Caroline, we don't do that in this house. <laughs> I don't care who knows it. There's uh, still a spark between us. There is? Yeah. All right. <laughs> but just enough for us to enjoy a friendly kiss under the mistletoe in the living room. <laughs> Bye. Okay, um, I've got a plan. Uh, I'm going to take the decanter out and hide it. And give your mother the scarf you gave me instead. It's nice. It's cashmere. Uh, you don't want to do that. What? Uh, that's the gift my mother gave me in school. What? That's the gift my mother gave me last Christmas. What are you talking about? Well, you know, from her to me, to you. Uh, Del, I, I can't believe you did this. Oh, oh uh, don't mind me. <laughs> uh, what am I going to do now? Uh, oh, hey, maybe she won't recognize the scarf. Oh, that's right. Yeah. It's pretty nondescript. It's just a black scarf. And, you know, we can just cut out my initials. No! <laughs> uh, human saliva contains over 4,000 different types of bacteria. <laughs> oh, God. Now, think. Now, um, do you have something in your car that you could give your mother? I've got some jumper cables. Are they in the original box? Uh. <laughs> I'll just put this over here. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll remember to open it first. Uh, Caroline, would you like a little brandy on your pie? Yeah, but skip the pie. My kind of girl. Ah, <laughs> uh, I taped over It's a Wonderful Life. And Geraldo's not very Christmassy. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Ah, uh, that's okay. Hey, uh, why don't we sing some Christmas carols? Would you like that? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. You, uh, do you know Silent Night? Uh, I only know the dirty version. How about uh, Hark the Herald Angels Sing? Hark the Herald Angels Sing Hark the Herald Angels Sing Hark the Herald Angels Sing Well, you know all the words. Hark the Herald Angels Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Julia. Julia, honey. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> Julia, honey, wake up, honey. Look, we can get to the other end of the airport. We can get a shuttle to Newark and fly from there. Come on, wake up. Here we go. Up and at him, huh? <laughs> hey, Julia, look. Ferragamo shoes, two for one sale. Oh, I'm gonna kill Annie. Hey, hey, buddy. Where'd you get that card? I uh, borrowed it from a skycap. Tell you what, uh, I'll give you ten dollars for it. Don't be silly. It's Christmas. I'm done with it. Please take it. Oh. Oh, it is so refreshing to meet a decent human being in the city. I tell you, there are days, you know, when I feel like I'm the only normal person left. 
Do you need a hand? No, it's okay. I think we got it just fine. Well, Merry Christmas. Okay. Oh, listen, I can't. I cannot. Thank you. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Come back here. This has been one of the best Christmases ever. Bye. <laughs> yeah, thanks for everything. Bye, Dad. <laughs> Bye, Caroline. Oh, you can't run off yet. You went out of your way to get me a wonderful gift, and I want you to be here when I open it. You know what? This is wrong. I brought you this gift because I wanted you to like me. But being liked has nothing to do with gift giving. I don't want to buy your love. What we have is better than that. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. No! Caroline, uh, what are you doing? Girl. That's a store-bought present. <laughs> For Mom, love Vanessa. <laughs> oh, no, now we ruined the turkey. Ah, it's not our fault. Where in the instructions does it say remove the plastic? Oh. oh, Dad, I'm sorry. I wanted this whole thing to be perfect, but this Christmas Eve thing is becoming a disaster. Yeah, but you missed the whole point about the holidays. I mean, Christmas isn't about, about eating and, and singing and watching old movies. It's about gifts. You know, you're right, Dad. I almost forgot. Here you go. Merry Christmas. Oh, wow, you should have. This is really great. No, 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 don't open it. It takes a couple of months to ripen. <laughs> hey, listen, I got something for you. Close your eyes, okay? You're gonna love this. Just close your eyes. <laughs> what do you think? It's dark. Now open your eyes. Tricycle? Yeah. I got it for you when you're three and I just didn't have a chance to give it to you. Look, the bell works and everything. It's neat. I don't know what to say, Dad. You already have one? <laughs> no, no. I, I just, I always wanted one. Thanks, Dad. Come on, what do you say we take this thing for a, a yeah. spin down the ramp? Yeah, that, 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 that. That's a good idea, but uh, I get to go first, okay? Okay, I'm okay. second. Okay. So it's not enough my mother thinks you're rude. Now she thinks you're crazy, too. I just wanted her to like me. Oh, Caroline, you gotta lighten up. It's a fact of life. No matter how wonderful and charming and amazing you are, somewhere, someday, somebody's mother is not going to like you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> See, you know, that's the spirit. And you should take Annie's mom, for instance, okay? You should hear some of the things she has to say about you. <laughs> okay, you're not laughing. Hey, Dickie. What the hell did you do to my wife? I was just trying to help her relax. <laughs> and I did my job. How about a little gratitude? Oh, I should have known you'd try to sabotage my honeymoon. Uh, yeah, right. Like you couldn't do that yourself. You know what? You are just pathetic. I mean, you, you just can't be happy for anybody else. Excuse me? I'm supposed to be happy for you after what you did to Caroline? What? What did I do to Caroline? Accepting honeymoon gifts from her? Rubbing your relationship with Julia in her face? What are you talking about? Julia is my wife. Oh, come on, you know Caroline is still in love with you. What? Caroline's in love with me? I didn't say that. <laughs> yes, you did. You just said Caroline was in love with me. I said a lot of things. I've had two white Russians and a pat of butter for dinner. What are you listening to me for? I'm a crazy woman. my back. Wait, 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 okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, did Caroline tell you that she was in love with me? 
Yeah, a long time ago. Very long. Before you were born. <laughs> and trust me, she has moved on. I can't believe I said something about this. Announcing the departure of flight 308 departing from Kingston, Jamaica from 812. All right, that's my flight. You're going to Boston. Doesn't matter, that's my flight. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Find me where the love light gleams. I'll be home for Christmas. If only in my dreams. Happy holidays.